But as you can see, we don't have any products yet um, in this specific collection. So the next step we need to do is to add some products to our store. So this is what we're gonna do next. So again, let's go back to our Shopify dashboard and again, click on products here on the left side and then all products. Here we can start adding our products. So let's click on add product right here. And then here we can add our first product. So first we have to type in the name of our product right here on the top and also give it a short description, which I'm gonna skip here for the sake of this video. Then the next step, we have to add some photos, some product photos, um, which optimally should be high quality and maybe also from a couple of different angles so the customer knows exactly what they're about to purchase. I'm gonna simply add one photo right here um, for the sake of this video. And next step, you can set a price for your product, which obviously is very important in order for having a profitable Shopify store that you're pricing your products correctly. Um, I'm gonna simply type in $120 and you can also add a compare price, which is the price that will be crossed out next to the real price. So people see that this product is actually down from maybe $150 and is no, now only $120. If you want to, you can also set your cost per item so you can see exactly what your profit margin is. Then you also have to type in something here for the stock keeping unit and um, also type in the quantity if you want Shopify to track how many products you have left in stock. Um, if you are out of stock um, based on the numbers that Shopify has, Shopify will actually show that on your Shopify store so the customers will not be able to check out um, buying this product because you're actually out of stock. If you want Shopify to continue selling when out of stock, you can simply tick this box right here. And then we wanna scroll down and here you also have the option to add like different sizes, different colors uh, or different options for your product. Um, maybe we have the watch in black and also in blue and maybe the blue one is a bit more expensive. So this is exactly what you can set here under options. And then once you have added all the information about your specific product, we can go back up here. And we also wanna add this product to a specific collection or also multiple collections. So for this watch, I wanna add it to the men's collection. So here under collections, I'm gonna add it to the men's collection and also to the new arrivals collection because let's say this is a product that we have just received um, for our store. And then if we want to make this product available on our store, we have to scroll up and then we have to change the status of the product from draft to active. And now all we need to do is click on save right here on the top. And now this product is available on our store. So we can go back right here to all products and we can see this is the product that we have just added. We can see the status is active. We have a hundred of these products of this product in our stock. And uh, now we can do the same thing with all the other products that we want to add to our store. So now I've added a couple of more products so we have something to work with. So we can now go back to our Shopify editor, make sure you save the page right here. And now it's already reloaded and you can see that under feature collection, we can now see our products because we have added them to the new arrivals collection. Also, when we would click on the men's collection right here, we can also see that under men's collection, there are watches that belong to the men's collection.